Finding your purpose is not hard at all. Are you willing to make the sacrifices? Oh my God, my thighs are sweating. Are you willing to break the rules? You can't force anybody to change. Deep down, you know you have a gift. I'm here for you. The most important gift that I can give anybody is just helping them simplify things that they're complicating in their life. Hi everyone, my name is Vasavi Kumar. I'm a licensed therapist, mindset, and business coach. I've been practicing for 10 years and what I absolutely love helping my clients with is to simplify their mind and to stop overthinking things and realize that they have the answers inside of them. And sometimes it just takes someone to see that wisdom inside of you and pull it out. And today I wanna talk about four steps that you can take to take the stress out of decision making. If you are an overthinker, if you are someone that struggles with making decisions because you have way too many options in your head, if you consider yourself to be a little too emotional, I get it, I have been there and I wanna share those tips with you. I'm gonna say this right off the bat. If anything that I say with you today resonates with you, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also be sure to share this video with people in your life who you know could really benefit from hearing these steps, especially if they're overthinkers. First step in taking the stress out of decision making is act as if you are advising your friend. Do you ever find that when your friend comes to you with a problem, you know exactly what to say? You're spot on. You're like, this is what you need to do. And they're like, oh my God, you're the smartest person ever. When you're trying to make decisions in your own life, treat yourself like you are that friend. Give yourself that same advice because the thing is, you already know what to do. Our emotions get in the way. So the first thing is act as if you're advising your friend because you already know the answer. The second thing that I want you to do to limit the information overload. True story, sometimes when I have issues, I'll Google it. I'll be like, how do I handle X, Y, Z? While I think that's important to be resourceful and to try to find the answers, sometimes, especially if you're an overthinker, too much information can actually confuse the heck out of you. In fact, you already have all these ideas in your head, all these thoughts in your head, getting more information, getting more feedback from other people is not going to help. So limit your information so you're not overloaded in your mind so you can start to hear yourself think clearly. The third thing that I want you to do is that I want you to do the complete opposite of what you want to do. People are irrational and they are compulsive and they're impulsive and they just want to go ahead and just act on their emotions. This is where you get to slow down. This is where you get to pause and just ask yourself, now how would I normally handle this situation? Now, if your normal inclination is to go out and pick up that phone, write that email, or just make this hasty decision and then you regret it, slow down. If your default behavior is to just go out and do something, that's where you just need to pause. You just need to pause because nothing good comes from acting out of your emotions. Because when you're emotional, you got a lot going on. You're probably acting out of fear and anxiety. You end up making decisions that are just not gonna be productive to whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. The fourth step that I want you to take, stop and ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, 10 being, I am supremely emotional right now. This is where you gotta be self-aware and you gotta be honest with yourself, rigorously honest with yourself. Take your emotional temperature and ask yourself, how am I doing right now emotionally? Am I hot? Am I on fire? If so, if you're like anywhere above a five, slow down. Don't make any decisions. Take that emotional temperature. And if you can honestly say that you are hot and bothered, this is not the time to make a decision. And then once you do that, get outside, get in the sun, do whatever you gotta do for you to really calm down, breathe, get yourself to a calm, sane, grounded state and when you can start to get to that place, when you get to that place where you are feeling, okay, I'm calm now and I'm not as anxious and I'm not as emotional, that's when you can start to make better decisions. When you are in your rational and in your logical mind. There's nothing wrong with being emotional. We all have our emotions, but making decisions from that place is never gonna end up good. So if you liked what you watched today, head on over to my website at vasavikumar.com. If you want a free consultation with me to really start simplifying the way you think and to stop overthinking and to start feeling more confident in your decision-making skills, contact me there, vasavikumar.com. I'll put the link below so you can schedule a call with me. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.